Hello, this is Miss Bachover. I'm coming at you live from my kitchen where I am eating some snacks because I'm really hungry. So if you hear me chewing in the background, that's what it is. Let's go through your introduction of what you're going to do today. So this is a two-day project. As you can see, we're going to do it Wednesday and Thursday. So that means if you are a Thursday, Friday person, you're only going to do half of this. You can't do the second half because then you will have nothing to do in class on Thursday. So you're only going to do half. Okay, glad that we got that. So we've learned a lot about the ocean. We're going to discover today how we know so much about the ocean. A lot of that has to do with exploration technology. So as our technology advances, we're beginning to know more and more and more about the ocean. But also a lot of it has to do with some very dedicated researchers and explorers who helped increase our knowledge of the ocean. Again, I'd like you to split this up. Do technology research today and explorer research tomorrow or vice versa. Here's your student copy of your sheet. You're going to click it and you're going to make your own copy. Remember, change those share settings, otherwise I can't see your can't see your assignment. So you need to change those settings. This is the technology part. You're gonna pick a technology. You're gonna edit this right here. And continue editing. You're going to put the title of your technology, so forth. I want to know who, when, where, and how this technology was created. What did we learn about the ocean from using this technology? This is going to be in paragraph form, so that means five to seven sentences, people. Capitalized words and punctuation is expected. Remember, Google Docs is really cool. It does the spelling and grammar for you, so there shouldn't be any misspelled words here. Um. As you do your research, a lot of you lost points on the other project because you didn't cite your sources. Here you're going to cite your sources, at least through the websites that you used, or if you use more, you'll put more than three. If it goes over this little limit right here, that's fine. Five interesting facts about your piece of technology. If you can find a picture here, perhaps you find a picture of the actual technology, and then perhaps maybe a picture of what it looks like through the technologies, if it's a camera or something, or maybe model one and model two. But just try to find some pictures. Next, we're going to do Explorer. So this is day two. Where was your explorer born? I want to know the explorer's name. I want to know what do we know about the ocean because of this explorer. I want to know what important contribution this person made regarding the ocean. These can be a paragraph form if you'd like. You can also just answer the questions in complete sentences. Again, you need to cite your sources. Five interesting facts about the person can be bullet points if you like. A picture of the person you can if you can find it and another picture of the person if you can find it. If you can't find it, maybe put a picture of what they're famous for discovering or um, what we know about the ocean because of them. Doesn't matter when you're done, change the share settings and submit it to Canvas. Fantastic. I've got some ideas to get you started. Here is a NOAA website with a bunch of technology that they use to explore the ocean. Here are some famous oceanographers, people who, or ocean explorers. And then here's a whole other article about ocean explorers as well, or you can find one of your own on um, our website, on Google. Make sure that the sources you're using are credible. We don't want any misinformation here. 35 points total. Uh, submit it to Canvas. Might be best here to submit a Google Drive link. The documents, for some reason, aren't always pulling up on um, Canvas. I'm not really sure why they show up as broken links. So let's submit a Google Doc link here for this one. All right, guys. Have a great day.